The boisterous Big Bad Bruins are getting ready to fight for the puck in their historic hometown of Boston, Massachusetts. Greetings, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Emmerich, right before game time here. It's an interesting sport in that sometimes your star players only play a third of the time. Do they ever make a contribution? Though? Well, you need them, Doc, to make those big contributions. Star players are a real important cog to the success of your team because if you don't have a lot of them, you're not going to have much success. Bergeron's versatility, Doc, is what makes him a special player. Look for him to be front and center throughout this game. Let's look at the starting netminders. Tuka Rask, in his first 10 years playing for Boston, led the league in both regular season and playoff shutouts twice, won the Vezina when the Bruins took the President's Trophy in 2014. Brian Elliott has collected some league hardware, been in all-star games, and got St. Louis to the Western Conference Final in 2016. Claude Giroux spent half of his first decade with the Philadelphia Flyers as captain, had even greater point-getting success when he shifted from center to wing. Steps across that line. Save there. That is up close and personal. Marchand's apparently got the... A solo rush. Takes his pass from the goalie. The Bruins have it along the side at mid-ice. He scores! Patrice Bergeron! Always better to play from in front than to chase the game. There's the game's first goal. Boston's ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time still left to play, but getting one and breaking the tie was huge. Boston goal scored by number 30. And he steps across the line. Can he beat him here? Stands his ground on the breakaway. He throws it there. Oh, lightning quick and a terrific save. And on top of that, another great stop. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save. Boston's got a defensive zone win. Moving it to DeBrusque. Steps in from the neutral zone. Outstanding save. Oh, they had a great chance. What a heavy hit. Solid hit directly right through the puck carrier. Excellent open ice hit. Brings a shot. No time to react. Didn't need it. Save. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Passing one off now to Voracek. On to DeBrusque. A great wrist shot. Smart recovery by Krejci. He had a shot, and that was way, way late. You see a play like that, Doc. That goaltender's team has to respond. They used their fists and got a fistful, five each for fighting. Both these guys are going to get a well-deserved rest after that scrap. The Bruins are up on their feet, banging the boards. I don't know that the building's been louder than it is right now. Over nine minutes play. It's a one-nothing game. Philadelphia's got it off the draw at center. Crosses that line. Breakaway! Drives ahead! Oh, what a stop! He had his eye on the puck the whole time. What a stop! Shoots one. Save! 
He hangs on and gets the whistle. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. The Flyers with a face-off win. Philadelphia's got it and moving up the wing. Alone! What artistry with a stick there! Let's it go. Made that stop. Pitching it to Raffle. Is able to move on in. In all alone. They score! And they've tied the game up. You get the lead, you want to pin the lead down. You want to give yourself the opportunity to spread the lead out. But they don't. They give up the tying goal. And now we're back to even. Boston's won that neutral zone faceoff. And the whistle signals an offside. Number eight, Robert Hag. And by number 37, Brian Elliott. Time of the goal, 13 minutes, 55 seconds. Under six minutes to go in the period. Scrappy game. Both of these teams have connected once. Boston's won that faceoff. They have it. And he fires. Wonderful save. Chip DeLawton. Great work with the stick. Great save. Elliott's going to be able to make that save all day. His positioning is perfect. It's not a difficult scoring chance. The Bruins get the draw. That puck hit him on the way to the net. Great save. Oh, Pocek saved one there. In with it now. Breaks free. He scores! Two straight goals. The next little bit will be crucial. Now that they've got the lead, how do they play with it? The Flyers now have a one-goal lead in the first period. Perhaps they can build on this and carry something sizable to the dressing room. Boston's Flyers got that puck goal. off the draw. And he shoots! Wonderful stop! Philadelphia's carrying it around through center. Around the 20th minute of this period. Wonderful save! He was hovering right over it. He's locked in now. Great save. Let's it go. Save. Philadelphia's carrying on up the wing. Outmaneuvers his man in the zone. Got in the way of that one. 20 minutes have been played. Both teams had some success. These two teams are separated by just a goal. Don't forget to check out tonight's game highlights, post-game analysis, player interviews, and blogs on our team website, New content is added daily. The Flyers have a lead. It is just one, and they did it this way. We'll be right back. One period down, another period beckons here. What did you think of the first? The Bruins are down only by one, Doc, and they're lucky. The way they turned over the puck in that first period, this could easily be a three or four goal deficit. One on one. Oh, and he robbed him. Doc 
good determination there by Marshan. Shoots. Terrific challenge. Outstanding save. Equal to the challenge. Nice stop. Score! He got the post with that one. Well, that certainly changes the complexion of the game. That tying goal has changed everything about this one. Boston's got this game tied up. Still lots of time to play. The Bruins from the neutral zone start to work. It's Kitty cornered in. Blues now picked up. Time of the goal. Pinpoint pass up that right wing. And a save. Gets a little drop off from the goalie here. Skill play by Claude Giroux. Patrick's back on the ice after serving that five-minute major. Man, those guys in the middle of the two players that fought must have had earplugs in because they were chirping back and forth the whole time. Great poke check. The Flyers skated up on the side. In deep trying to score. Shoots. He saved it. Strong save. The shooter shaking his head. Great save. Nice save there. They're going to have to do better than that to beat him. Laid on to Voracek. A shot. Stared him down and made the save. To Pasternak. Gains that offensive line. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. The Flyers are skating it up at neutral ice. Terrific determination by David Backus. That shot came from just six inches. He scores! Two in a row! Always dangerous once you break a tie that you would sit back and try to protect the lead. I think you have to stay aggressive and play in the other end. Boston's gotten a one goal lead and lots of time left in the game. We're still in period number two. The Bruins control at center ice. Keeps it going up the wing. Made that work for him in goal. Pitching this one to Simmons. Onside. Shoots one. Turned away with the stick. And he shoots one. Skilled play by Miller. And he lets it go. That's a good save and goal. They're going to have to come up with something better than that. Oh, what a break. That shot hit somebody. Nice work with that stick. Knocked it away. Skates it into the zone. On the outside, a shot. And a save. They keep working hard on the boards. Great take, dangerous area. And a slashing penalty is forthcoming. The Bruins get a minor penalty for slashing. He's making like Paul Bunyan out there. That's a two-minute slash. The Flyers will get their first power play crack of the game. Let's see how they do. You can turn the tide of a game on a power play, whether you score or not, by getting shots, by getting traffic, and by keeping the puck in the offensive zone. If you chase it up and down the ice all the time, nothing gets accomplished. Puck is thrown to Van Riemsdyk. And he skates it back to regroup. The Bruins are getting a minor here, and the call is slashing. Oh, that's a blatant slash, Doc. Anytime that you slide your bottom hand up your stick and swing your stick, you're going to the box. 
The Flyers are presented with a great opportunity here. It's a long five on three. One of the biggest problems on a five on three is teams are too cautious. They don't shoot the puck enough, and they make it too easy for the penalty killers to kill it off. Clock continues to get to the smaller numbers here, but there may be time for another rush. Perfect, Brister. Oh, what a save that was. Two periods have been played. And so, as we think back through the first two, we think ahead toward the third. And we look at a very impressive shots on goal board after two periods. 19 for the Bruins and 18 for the Flyers. The Bruins have a one goal lead. This is the one that did it for them as the teams are in the locker rooms and we're about to sell some. The locker room tour. Membership is free. So what are you waiting for? Join our Insiders Club today. Two periods played, one period ahead. What are your thoughts so far, Eddie? Philadelphia's down after the first 40 minutes of play. Couple of positives. One, they're only down by a goal. Second, time of possession has been in their favor, but at some point, they have to convert some of those chances. And he pitches it back in. The Flyers ready an attack back in the defensive zone. Carries it on in from center. Fires! Score! A power play goal, and it's a biggie. There are times the power play does nothing but crush your momentum. They're able to tie the game up with a power play goal here. The Flyers with a win at center. Scored on the power play by number 28. Really good cut of the pass. And he hatchets one. Good save there. Pass attempt to Couturier. And he gains the zone. Got it at the point. Good job done with the stick. Way to break up that play. Flings it. Good save there. The Flyers setting things up in their own end. Gains the zone. Looks ahead to start something. Cuts between the blue lines. Blockered away. Snapping a pass to Van Riemsdyk. Trying to go to Gostisbehere. Propelled to Couturier. Voracek slashed. Ooh, that's going to be a penalty. Whistle is blown, and the guilty party heads off the ice. The Bruins are boxed for two minutes. The call is slashing. Oh, look at the reaction of the puck carrier. He is in some pain. That's a slash. The Flyers go on the power play again. They have connected once already. They've been successful before knocking the game here. Let's see if they can do it again. Move the puck, get the puck to the net. Good, solid defense there. That one's fired back out, and so more time will go off the penalty clock. The Flyers lug that along through center ice. Strong wrist shot. At least he protected his goaltender. Up to the point. Let's it go. Gets a blocker on it. Tries to clear. And that one cleared by the penalty killers. The Bruins killed it off, and so we're back even. And now it's directed to Simmons. If we had games like this more often, nobody would be talking about how difficult it is to score goals anymore in the National Hockey League. But as it stands tonight, this is a goal after goal after goal game. That's a great save.
Just over eight minutes remaining. A hockey game is a game of lead changes. This one now is even. The Flyers in control of the puck through the neutral zone. Rubbed out along the boards. He was looking to finish his check, and he lines up his man right up against the boards. Routine save, but a necessary one. Directing that one to Giroux. Got that pass in his own end. Let's it go. Save there. And he holds on, and the whistle stops play. Carlo's eyes were as big as saucers. He sees the opponent with his head down, and he steps up for a huge hit. Defensive zone win. Slid to Giroux. He gains the zone. Boston's looking to head man up the wing. Shot on. All a part of generating an offense. Little pass off from the goal. Has it in his own end. To Hyman. Looking to Wagner. And he shoots. Say. Moving it to Van Riemsdyk. We are in the last minute of regulation time. Got in the way of that one, too. On to Voracek. Chip to Patrick. Turn to shot on net. And a save. Boston's in their own end, hoping to make a play to center. Into the attacking end. That puck was obstructed by a screen. Score! Well, this has been pretty good back and forth here in a tie game. Now they've got the lead. We'll see what they do with it. The Bruins have gotten a one-goal lead here in the third period. Do they go for two, or do they just try to protect this? And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. That puck is loose. No luck getting through that. It's out of the zone. Not looking for pretty here. That's a smart play. But they'll have to drop back as this has been cleared out by Zdeno Chara. Back in his defensive end to get it. The Flyers with possession in the neutral zone. Shoots and a save. And the puck's cleared out. And that will do it. The horn sounds the game is over. The Bruins have won a close game here. Probably should have been lopsided. Yeah, they had the puck a lot here tonight, but just did not generate enough offensive chances. Some nights are special in memory. This one was an outstanding game. So long for now.